All right, so once you've completed step two, you're ready to move on to step three, where you're going to identify and actually create your social media accounts. So it is up to you to decide which social media platforms will be the most beneficial for your business objectives. So are you going to use Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, LinkedIn, Instagram, YouTube, whatever would work best for your brand or business that you are promoting. Now, if you were doing this in the real world, you would probably want to conduct a survey to your customers um, to figure out which social media platforms they use the most. Um, since we don't have you know, time or you might not be working with a real business to do this, you are going to be able to make that choice yourself without doing any kind of survey. But you do have a list of tips here that you can read about some of the different social media platforms, such as Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn. These are probably the most used, um, so that might be good places to start. Um, you have tips about video and images, Pinterest, and Foursquare. So after you decide which three platforms you'd like to use, you're going to have to decide whether you want your social media accounts to be private or public. Um, of course, the goal eventually is to make them totally public, probably. However, if you're working with a real company or organization, you need to consult with whoever gave you permission to create those accounts um, before you make them public. They might want you to build up followers or build up postings um, before you actually make them public so that, you know, when customers first start to see them, they aren't just looking at one or two posts, that there's actually some meat there before they go public. Um, just remember that if you do set them to private, um, you'll need to allow me access if I request to follow you or anything like that. Also remember that if you're making like a Twitter account or an Instagram account or anything like that that's private, one of the best ways to get um, enhanced views or more followers is when people retweet or comment or like your posts. And those retweets, those likes, those comments are going to be broken and not able to happen if your content is not publicly available. So those are kind of some things that you're going to have to weigh out as you're deciding. And you can switch through those options whenever you need to. Um, for information about which social media platforms might be the best for you, I would recommend starting by reading these four linked articles. They give you great information. Um, on the background and, you know, how you can kind of align your company, your brand's objectives with each, with each of those platforms. And then when you decide what you're going to do, you need to open up and download the deliverable item for this third step. And as you can see here, you are going to earn 50 points simply for providing the links to the example um, social media accounts. So, a link for each of these that you find and I would hope that it's one that you think is good so a Facebook page that you think is really great a LinkedIn company page you think is great and so on and then um, 20 points for giving me a written summary explaining the rationale for which three platforms you select and then 30 points for putting your account um, link or profile page on the three platforms that you do submit and you can include screenshots to what you have there so far and once you have completed that you need to save it and submit it to me here in Blackboard. 